So what do these three objects have in common? Well, they are all objects with three axes, well-defined axes of inertia, which are different. There's a long, thin axis here, there's a wider axis here, and another axis here. And what happens is, if, for instance, in this book, if I toss the book up around this axis, it spins nicely. Or around this axis, it spins nicely. But around the third axis, if I toss it up in the air, the book always comes upside down, back into my hands. Again, now it's the right way up. Surely you'd expect it always to come back the right way up. But a very interesting thing happens, even though I'm conserving angular momentum, the book does this tumble. Now, tennis racket does the same thing. It's red facing you there. And when I catch it, it's now white. It's white. When I catch it, it's red. And you can possibly see the tumble. This table tennis bat, black and red, black facing you. When I catch it, red. Table tennis bats are harder to catch. Red facing you, black. Black facing you, red. Conservation of angular momentum, wow, it's complicated.